welcome to Valkyrie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is another deck exploration deck. This one is for the Lovers Tarot by Jane Lyle. Um, I've been watching this for a little while and it was on a local selling page that somebody was selling this and I was like, do you know what? That's cheaper than I can order it brand new from Amazon from. So first of all, because it was so cheap, I checked it wasn't one of the China copies um, and confirmed that it did have a proper barcode, not a QR code, and it was the proper box and it is, I couldn't believe it. So I bought it and here we are having a look at it. So it's brand new in the plastic as well. <laughs> I've, I've cut the side for the plastic so I can unwrap it, but it's brand new in the plastic. I couldn't believe it. So this is the Lover's Tarot deck. So I will take that said plastic off so we can have a look. It's quite a glossy box. They have this glossy box so you can see my lights reflecting on it. But so it's a two part box. There's the side and the top's blank, the other side. And the bottom is super glossy actually and then it's got the lovers tarot deck the lovers tarot answers all of our questions related to affairs of the heart sex and relationships we yearn for love and yet it can be elusive and confusing this traditional deck offers understanding guidance and insight into your most urgent longings and desires and will help you to identify potential blocks to your romantic happiness and fulfillment oh, i've got a really good feeling about this deck and it's good because i've got some readings for people i'm doing readings tonight video call readings and um it's Valentine's weekend, so this should be appropriate for that, if special, if the readings are especially romantic. Okay, the deck is tight. <laughs> Let's have a look, there we go. So I'll look at the deck, the booklet after, because some people like these videos, just have a look at what the cards look like, and then I'll come back to the booklet after. So, two-part box, it's white inside. Let's get these um, cards out. Oh, come on. There we go. Out of the inner plastic. This is a common thing for decks to be in plastic inside. So they're matte printed, these decks. They have a plain black, um, plain black, plain back. Picks up greasy spots though. Oh, that wasn't, yeah, like thumbprints. My hands aren't particularly greasy. It is warm in here, but. So this is gorgeous, navy, royal blue, dark navy, royal blue. It's beautiful. So we have the Fool. The Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, I love that. The Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon. I love that there's Jack Russells. I have a Jack Russell now. The Sun, Judgment, the World. Then we go into the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. I love that they're in Aces, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and Three of Cups. I love it's just a pip deck at this point. Four of Wands, Pentacles, Swords, and Cups. And then we have Five of Wands, Pentacles, Swords, and Cups, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords and Six of Cups. The Sevens of the Wands, Pentacles, Swords and Cups. The Eight of Wands, Pentacles, Swords and Cups. And then we have the Nines, Pentacles, Swords. Oh, fluff there. I don't know where that's come from. Cups. The Tens, fully closed off. So if it's a pip, it's still good because it's like over blocked energy. Ten of Pentacles, all lined up. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Is he missing an arm? Oh no, it's crossed. Page of Cups. And then we have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Wands. 
Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. And then we have the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, very William Conqueror, uh, King of Swords, and the King of Cups. A little bit Richard the Third there. I love that it's the traditional. Um, it's not Renaissance, is it, or is it style artwork? I love it. When was this printed? When was this produced? It feels like older than I think it is. 1992. Yeah, it had that 90s feel about. Do you know what I mean? Where the 90s deck. A bit like my Renaissance tarot. I love it. I love it. I love a deck like this. It's quite thin cardstock. It bends and it stays a little bit bent. You can bend it back the other way though. It has this very simple. Oh, it says 92. Copyright in 1992. 2003. It was printed this one. It has this plain blue background with this little filigree at the top and bottom. I like that. So, so yeah, they, they shuffle beautifully. It's very much a 90s field deck. It's, um, that's not a bad thing. You know, there is a lot of the 90s style decks, but they did hark back to like ancient Greek, Renaissance, Tudor style artwork, Dark Age artwork, painting styles. I love it. So um, there's nothing against it. There's so, but there's, it's it's quite refreshing actually to have an older ninety style deck again, because um, my first decks were Jane Austen tarot and Renaissance tarot. I bought two at once, so I was always going to start with having more than one deck. But um, yeah, this was the nineties deck. Renaissance nineties deck was very much what I learnt to read on initially. So. Um, there's nothing wrong with a 90s deck. Seven of Swords. Tenacity. Yeah, 90s decks have tenacity to last through the ages. And it give you options and enough ideas that you didn't possibly have before. But yeah, they, um, they shuffle beautifully. They shuffle brilliantly. Traditional tarot size. I love it. I love it. Ace of Pentacles. I can't wait to play with that again. I like an older deck. So yeah, we have the booklet now that came with it. Glossy cover, Lover's Tarot deck. Cards illustrated by Oliver Burston. Then we have the contents there. Introduction, reading the cards, what each of the suits stands for. And um, each of the numbering. I love that that's been actually part of it. The numbering hence why it was in aces and one aces and twos and threes like that and then we go to the major arcana so it has a small blue and white it's not black and white it's blue and white image of the card and then the name and number ruling planet element and keywords oh my god for a booklet a little white booklet that's incredible but again 90s tarot was very much learning the system rather than intuition based but there you go um and then the description there and then Essence at the bottom, and that goes for all of the major arcana. Through to the world, and then the minor arcana, and it does it by ace. So each page has the four elements, it's that number, with again a blue and white image. The gift, the keyword, a description, and then the challenge if it's in reverse. So it's the gift if it's upright, the challenge in reverse, and that goes through the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, the six. All the way through, court cards, page, knight, queen, king, traditional naming system, obviously it's from the 90s. Um, sample reading, so you have the Celtic cross. I really, really wouldn't recommend a Celtic cross for a beginner, just because once you've got a, a few miles under your belt to do a Celtic cross, it's just, it's such an in-depth reading that even I have been reading for 15, 16 years, like I started learning. Don't get me wrong, the deep study's been the last three or four years, like daily, daily tarot, but I've always dabbled in tarot over the years. But proper going deeper and deeper and deeper with it. But uh, the last sort of three years, but four years maybe. But um, I would, I, even now, Celtic Cross is there when you need a very, so many layers to a picture. It's, it can be confusing for a beginner. It's, I'm not saying you shouldn't, absolutely shouldn't do one. 
if you feel you can do it it's just don't if you do it and you feel overwhelmed by the spread please don't let it put you off doing a Celtic spread in the future that's all I'm saying um the author and the illustrator details there and then obviously editorial details proofreaders and printed details there then on the back it's got the lovers and the ace of swords again truth of love helping you through love because a lot of people tend to tarry mainly for love situations but it has so many other uses tarot it's really underrated people think it's a fortune telling tool when's my lover going to turn up there's so much more to it than that so much more and if you want to talk to me about it i'm more than happy to talk to someone about it maybe i'll do a video about it i love it i just love tarot but um so yeah that is the lover's tarot deck by jane lyle beautiful artwork beautiful and i love the booklet there's a lot more detail in that booklet than it lets you think there is in the beginning it's absolutely stunning so yeah let me know down below if your thoughts and feelings on the deck if you want to know anything about it um or if you want to know anything about tarot in general really i mean i'm more than happy to answer questions on what i found along my journey um so yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye for now